Hello, this is a trade site futures trade recap of sorts. This is a preview of a demonstration or a webinar we're going to be giving next week on Wednesday, August 29th, sorry, 28th, 2013 for eSignal Learning Center. Uh, this is, of course, brought to you by eSignal Charts as usual and the uh, fabulous eSignal 11 platform. Uh, what we want to show you today is sort of a combination of our trade site Comer tool and our trade site value area tool and how they can be useful. And I wanted to point out a, an example from this last week, which was actually from Tuesday, August 20th. This is the S&P E-mini, five, S&P 500 E-mini futures contract. These are five minute bars starting the session right here. And these are our levels, our trade set levels drawn on top of them. The uh, red and the blue lines are uh, a variety, represent a variety of key technical support and resistance points. Uh, for example, this dark blue line here is the pivot for the session. The red line is what we call the upper break level. And at the same point as this dark blue line, there's also a, a light blue line that's right underneath it. It's the exact same number, so you can't see them both. Uh, it's called the value area low. And this shaded area that you see, this lighter shaded gray area, uh, is the difference between the two light blue lines. So I'm going to zoom the chart in a bit. Now you can see up here, this is what we call the value area high up here. This is this light blue uh, line up top. The same one is right here where the dark blue line is. It's, it's the pivot. It's also the value area low. The area between them is the value area, and we'll come to a, a discussion of how the value areas are calculated in the webinar on Wednesday, but it's a very important area for the market to, to remember. And when you open outside of the value area and then break into the value area, 80% of the time, at least between 70 and 80% of the time, you will cross to the other side of the value area. And we've also been teaching people a lot about our trade site uh, seeker and comer tools. The comer is the one that we use more frequently on the five minute chart. And so let's take a look at what happened here on Tuesday. And I'm just going to move these forward. You will at some point hear a uh, loud noise when an alert goes off related to the tool. This is an alert letting us know that we are approaching that shaded area, the value area. Okay. And again, like I said, we're interested in that uh, if we move into it. So for those that are familiar with the comer, and there we are breaking into the value area. Uh, this is actually the eighth bar up on what's called a setup phase, the yellow numbers. We want to get to a ninth bar, and when we do, you're going to hear a loud sound again. And there's the ninth bar. So we now have a nine bar setup phase to the upside, which has established uh, an energy point in the market that met our certain four bar look back criteria that we've discussed in the past. Once we have this setup, because we're using the Comer tool, uh, the Comer tool can actually reach back into that nine bar setup and start using our two bar look back phase. The seeker tool can't reach back, comer tool can, makes it a little more aggressive on the shorter term time frame. So you can see the pink or magenta numbers, the one, two, three that we have, that we've already got towards the comer count. Now the key is, if this proceeds upward, at some point in time we should get a 13 cell signal on the comer. And when we do, uh, that's often a very near top. Uh, we'll show you how that plays out. You've seen them in the past. but. Let's move this chart forward and watch what happens here. So we break right through the uh, upper pressure threshold. That's another key support and resistance point that we talk about in our courses. We're already through that. We've got the R1 level off the pivot series here uh, coming up. Let's keep watching what happens here. So right now we're five bars into that Comer count, looking for 1 to 13. Remember that for the actual countdown phase, they do not have to be consecutive. So for example, here's a bar that doesn't have a number on it. That's fine. Um, but again, we sort of pause here in the market. And that's a pause for about 30 minutes, okay? But we don't have any signs yet of any sort of sell signal in the marketplace. And we certainly haven't crossed the value area to the top of this value area high area, which, you know, as I said, 70 to 80% of the time you will when you open outside and head upward. Or you could have opened above and headed downward, of course. So now here we go. There's bar six in that count. Bar seven, starting to make our way up. Now we stop right at R1. And that's going to be bar eight as I move forward. So we've still got a little bit of room here to the value area high. We're still pushing up. There's eight. There's nine. What's interesting, there's ten. Now take a look at this. Pause. Now with the Comer tool, you've got to make new highs in order to get the count. It's an added piece of the Comer tool. Really causes uh, what I consider to be a little more reach in the market, which I like to see uh, before I get the sell signal. Okay. But here we are. Take a look at this. There's 12, and we're just hitting. One more. Oh, there it is. We hit the value area high to the tick. 70 80% of the time you'll cross the value area. We are a value area. We hit the value area high to the tick and it kind of stayed up in this general range. Now what's interesting is we're only at bar 12 on the comer. We have not gotten a 13 sell signal. 
One more time, the market pulls back to retest the R1 area. One more push up, that gets us a new high. And there it is. We don't close above the value area. We do hit what's called a green tri-star level. But basically, we're right here at the value area high. We did reach above it inside this five-minute bar. That gives us this 13 sell signal that you can see right up here. Okay, so not only did we get to the high of the value area, not only did we have a value area play, but now we're getting, as we run into that, as we uh, handled what was supposed to happen there, reaching across the value area, we're getting a sell signal on the Comer tool. And what's interesting is, if you look at the rest of the day from there, we don't go any higher. All the way into the close, and then late in the session even, uh, a little bit of a drop. So. Not only did we get our value area play, but the Comer did exactly what it was supposed to do in giving us the signal. Two very, very powerful components that when put together give you very high probability points to make money in the markets. This has been a trade site trade recap. Hope to see you in the trade site lab.